By the end of the 19th century, experiments dealing with light showed behaviors that are inconsistent with the notion of light as an electromagnetic wave. These inconsistencies are resolved by assuming that the energies of light and matter are quantized, meaning values are restricted. Thus, the theory eventually developed into what we call quantum theory. In the case of electromagnetic radiation, we have to think of energy as being carried by a stream of particles called photons. The energy carried by each photon is given by the following equation. The energy of a photon is equal to h nu, which is equal to h c over lambda. So basically, energy is equal to Planck's constant time nu, the frequency, which is also equal to Planck's constant time, the speed of light, divided by the wavelength where h is called Planck's constant, which is equal to 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joule seconds. Max Planck discovered this constant while trying to explain black body radiation. Planck's constant turned out to be a universal constant used to explain other phenomena as well. Light energy is quantized because it is only available in multiples of h nu. Note, Energy is proportional to frequency and inversely proportional to wavelength. So basically, if my frequency increases, since it's proportional, my energy increases. While, if we're talking about wavelength, the inverse is proportional. If I increase the wavelength, then my energy will decrease, as well as my frequency will decrease. So we inversely proportional between energy and frequency and wavelength, and, and they are proportional when we're talking about frequency and en energy. The photoelectric effect is one phenomenon that could not be explained with the notion that light is a wave. A photoelectron is an electron ejected from a metallic surface when the surface is exposed to light. This is an experiment they were studying, and they came up with the following things. It was found that there is a minimum frequency of light, let's call it uh, nu naught, needed to cause electrons to be ejected. The threshold frequency depends on the nature of the metallic surface. The kinetic energy of the electrons ejected depends on the frequency, but not the intensity of light. This was puzzling because the intensity of light is the amount of light it delivers per unit time per unit area. If electrons are ejected, more of them are ejected if the light is made intense. Albert Einstein explained the observations as follows said the kinetic energy of the ejected electron is the difference between the energy of the photon and the energy needed to dislodge the electron from the metal. If the individual photons do not have sufficient energy to dislodge electrons, no photon electrons will be observed, regardless of how intense the radiation is. The photon energies are sufficient then a higher intensity would mean more photons and consequently more photoelectrons produced. But the kinetic energy of the electrons depend only on the photon energy. Hence, the conclusion was that it only depends on the frequency, not the intensity. So based on the data, Einstein deduced the following. The photon energy is equivalent to Planck's constant time nu, the frequency, where h is the same constant that Planck earlier discovered when he was trying to explain black body radiation. The minimum photon energy needed to dislodge electron, called the work function of a metal, is Planck's constant time, the threshold frequency. Let's try the calculation using energy. What is the energy of a photon corresponding to radio waves of frequency 1.255 times 10 to the 6 hertz? Well, remember hertz is basically is saying seconds minus 1 or 1 over seconds. We simply plug the values into the energy equation and cancel units. We know that energy of a photon is equal to Planck's constant time nu, which is equal to Planck's constant time the speed of light, 
divided by lambda. Well, in this particular case, since I have frequency, it's just plug it into the middle term and multiply by Planck's constant. So we have the energy of the photon, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. Time uh, frequency, which is 1.255 times 10 to the 6. That uh, was hertz, so I plugged in second minus ones. Our seconds cancel, leaving me only in joules, which is an energy term. If I multiply the two numbers together, I get 8.316 times 10 to the negative 28 joules. That is the energy associated with a photon that has the frequency of 1.255 times 10 to the 6 hertz. Homework 58. 